Hey y'all, it's The Breeze and you're plugged into The Breeze Lifestyle. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you wanna support your girl, cause you know I'm trying to get the 500, not 500,000, not yet anyway, but just a, a little 500. <laughs> Comment, subscribe, like, everything really helps grow my channel. So I appreciate you for doing it for you. If you could do it for me, that would even be even sweet. So thank you. Um, but yeah, so this video is going to be a story time, as you can see by the title. It's another fighting story time, and I'll be embarrassing myself with these stories, but it is what it is, because try me now. Try me now. It's like, but no, I definitely am not about to fight nobody right now, but I'm not about to be played with either. But anyway, so this video, like my girl Asia be saying, got to give you a backstory for everything to make sense. So if you have not yet, you don't have to watch this video first, but just a little reference from the video of when I ran away from a fight. So I think I named the girl Corner Joan. So Corner Joan, like I said, she did not fight fair whatsoever. She had brothers and sisters and everybody was swinging, okay? So y'all know she was mad because I kissed her boyfriend, which I thought was my boyfriend. All right, cool. So in this time, it's crazy how God works like in mysterious ways because I ran away from that fight. But after that, like I never ran from her. I never seen her for real. Like, and if I did see her or her sisters, it was never no smoke or nothing like that. So at that time we was living over East side and it just so happened we moved over West side and that meant I had to change my schools, which was very disappointing because we were in eighth grade. I've been going to school with my best friends since third grade. So like right before high school, we changing up, we switching up for what, but whatever. So I say I have to say, this story is about a girl from my new school. We gonna call it a new school, border school, just because they had uniforms. So my first school was the hood school, okay? Cause it really was. So I went from the hood school to the border school. So my day first, I begged my mom. I begged, begged, begged my mom to not make me go to this border school. So I said, when she told me I had uniforms, I'm like, no, I don't want to be without my friends. I don't want to wear uniforms no more. Like, no, 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 no. But there was nothing she could do because like, you can choice into certain schools, but you definitely have to do that at a certain time. So we just moved kind of, out of the blue or whatever so i had to go to the school period i had to go to school and my first day at my new school was the first time in the last time because i didn't go to the school no more but my hood school my friends told me that that day that i went to the boarding school corner joint and her sisters and brothers was on my bus stop not the new school but the old school waiting for me to jump me like they was waiting to jump me so it's so crazy because it didn't happen like that in that like that story and this did not happen it was like months had went by so the fact that they were trying to jump me because they because now they just don't like me now they just don't like me they don't need no more reasons they just don't like me and it's just like god always on your girl's side because they ain't never see the kid again <laughs> but anyway so that was the backstory basically and I guess this is kind of a backstory too, but it's pushing it on. So basically when I got to the school, I was in uniform, I was the new girl or whatever. And you know how it feels when you're the new girl, you seeing everybody and everybody looking at you like, you know, you coming in today class in the middle of the class or whatever. So whatever. And their schedule was different than ours. I forgot exactly how it went, but it, it was different. I remember the first class that I went into, I met, I really connected with these two guys cause they was friends. So, oh, dang, I got to make fake names. I was about to do real names, but these people are actually going to be in another story. So definitely got to give them names. And let me think of the name. So um, the first one, we're going to call him Stank Breath because his breath stank, period. So the Stank Breath and what am I going to name this boy? He used to be my best friend, so I'm trying to name him something like Bestie. I'm gonna just name him Bestie. Y'all know the girls who I claim are my sisters. Not claim, not claim. Who are my sisters? Um, you know, one is slim and the other two I didn't give names yet. But when I say bestie, just know I mean my boy bestie. 
my, my boy best friend at the time. So I met Stank Breath and Bestie at the same time they was in the same class. And it was really cool. Like if you knew them in the school, it was like them. They both had the same aesthetic. Like they was both black or whatever and like brown skin, braids like they both had braids like pretty long like came to their shoulder or whatever they both had nice designs like they kept their braids they kept their little uniforms looking nice or whatever you know whatever whatever so it was kind of in this setting i would say that they were pretty popular they were pop popular people so i like stink breath when i first seen stink breath i said oh oh i like stink breath i didn't talk to him or nothing didn't smell nothing yet I did, I did. I just liked him. I just thought he was cute. So, um, but I feel like he had, like, he, okay, so Stank Breath and Bestie were always kind of together, but they had two different personalities. Like, Stank Breath is going to get smart to you and crack jokes on you, and Bestie is just kind of going to crack jokes, but not really on you. Like, he, he might talk about people low-key, but he's not going to, like, make you feel, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they just, one of them was just, like, jonesing you. Like, coming at you. Like, everything, every every day is something different just coming at you. And the other one is just somebody who you can crack jokes with. Like, not get the jokes cracked on you. Yeah, that, that was the difference. So, Stay Breath had a smart mouth. So, I really started hanging out with Bestie more often. So I'm just kind of like speeding through. So I would say I only went here for, <laughs> I only went here for like a half a year because I did my first half in the hood school and then I came to boarding school. So I would say a couple min months went by and I made like, I'm gonna say five friends, including, so the two dudes that I just told you and then the other three girls, they don't really need no name. So, Outside of that, me and Bessie used to start walking home together. We just started hanging out outside of school. So everybody else was my school friend, but me and Bestie was like, like I was going to his house, he was going to my house. Like we was best friends for real. And we both had no car. We both live on the west side now. So we used to like go places together, walk together. And he was giving me a scoop on the school and all of that, right? So I don't 100% remember if he had this girlfriend or if along the lines he got the girlfriend. I can't remember it. But we're going to call her Pitbull. That's that's her name because she looked like a little Pitbull. Um, and you know how it goes. That's why I can't really remember if I was the best friend first because we, we became best friends pretty, pretty quick. So I don't know if I was the best friend first or if she was his girlfriend and then here I come trying to be the best friend. So, I want to say it might have been that way. Like, I can't, I can't remember. But let's just say it was that way where I just came in and he was already in a relationship. And here I am coming to try to be his best friend. Well, he wanted me to be his best friend anyway, but we were best friends. So, um, basically, me and Pitbull was cool off of association. Like, I only seen her when, like... We was all walking home from school, but she lived closer to the school, so she get dropped off first, and me and him look, live closer to each other, so he'll kind of walk me halfway home and then go back home. So it's like I'm still spending more time with your man when after school, it used to be y'all thing where he just drop you off and he walk home by himself, but now y'all ain't really got no time together because I'm walking with y'all. And then when, we, when he leave, we leave. Like, it's that type of time. So... Now that I'm older and I'm kind of explaining the story, I could kind of see why she kind of did like me because if that's how it went. Like I said, I can't 100% remember, but I think that's how it went. Mind you, y'all, this is eighth grade. I'm 30 years old. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I, like I said with my other story, I remember the main thing. It's just sometimes certain little parts do get away from me and I'm not about to just act like I remember exactly how every little detail happened because I don't. So anyway, I just do remember that he would tell me stuff like he would tell me a lot about their life because I was a so he would be telling me stuff about them doing the do and how one time I think that's why I think I really do think they was together already because I feel like 
this time happened before I even got there. But there was one time where they was doing the do in the gym locker room and they got caught and they got um, suspended or whatever. So long story short, <laughs> cause y'all already know my story be long, but um, that's the backstory. I guess we finally made it through the backstory. This is how I started going to the school. These are the people who I met when I first went to the school. So we would hang out every single day, me and Bessie, every single day. And then sometimes like it would be the two girls sometimes would walk. We just thought we was too cool for the bus. Like why wait on the bus when we could just walk and, you know, stop at the store and talk and, you know, whatever, whatever. Just what kids do after school when they don't want to just go straight home anyway. So we, I think we probably all ride different buses. I don't remember. So... We used to walk a lot. That was our thing, like just walking from school or whatever. And um, I started getting weird vibes from people. Like I just started getting weird vibes. And like I said, her house was the close. Her house was the closest to the. <laughs> her house was the closest to the school from everybody. So no matter if it's just me, Bestie, and Pitbull, or me, Bestie, Pitbull, and five other people. She's always going to get dropped off first because unless she want to walk home by herself and I never got the vibe that she really wanted to walk home by herself. So sometimes what we would do is we would go from school to her neighborhood and just chill in her neighborhood for a while. So I remember it was one time where Bestie was getting his hair done from somebody people knew. I don't know if it was an auntie, a cousin or something. So he had asked me to come with him. And I can't like 100% remember. Either he asked me to come with him or he asked me to meet him so we could walk back home together. I don't remember. But I was not welcomed in that house. Like I was not welcomed in that house for some reason. I just remember sitting outside, I think with Slim. I can't remember. I think we both went to go see him and Slim that's my dog. Like, and like I told y'all, I grew up, I was born in the hood, moved to the suburbs, came back to the hood. So by the time I came back to the hood, I was like eight, nine years old. And it's the things that I wasn't hip to, I wasn't privy to, I wasn't, I was a little naive. And having Slim sometimes like would just she just put things into perspective. Cause she, I might feel weird, but think I'm just tripping. And then she'd be like, why are they being weird? I'm like, wait, I'm not tripping. So that's when I really first started seeing weird vibes. When she really started showing like, you know how even with, um, let's say with a baby mom or ex-girlfriend, your boyfriend or baby daddy get a new girlfriend. And you might be thinking to yourself, like, oh, I know him. He, she ain't lasting long. Like, I know him. He ain't, he don't never keep no girlfriend but me. And then she'd be around for two, three months. And he'd be like, and then she'd be around for a year. And he'd be like, hold on. Because first she was being cool with her. Because you just knew she wasn't going to last long. And then you realize that she ain't going nowhere. And now you don't like her. <laughs> That's what I feel like the vibe was for me and people. So... One day, and this fight is so petty. Like, it was to the point where she was the only person who I really had beef with outside of the people who I told you from the hood or whatever. They had beef for no reason. Or I guess because I was kissing on my man, they man, our man, whatever. But outside of that, I really didn't have no real beef where I knew why somebody didn't like me because we had words together. So this was so petty, but... I felt like I was at the point where I was just ready to fight. Like I, I was tired. I was just tired of running. I was tired of people playing with me. And the people who really wanted to fight me, you could tell they've been fighting since they was in diapers. You could tell they've been fighting since they was in diapers. This girl, pit bull. She looked like a pit bull, but she looked like a baby puppy pit bull. Like you don't look like you've been out in these streets for too long. Like you, you don't look like you. You don't look like me, but you look like me. Like. We ain't just out here fighting, basically. So, one day, Bestie tells me, like, mm, Pitbull is talking trash about you. And I'm like, I hate when people come to you and tell you somebody was saying something instead of just saying what that someone said. Like, if you want to tell me, just tell me. So, I'm like, well, what happened? What she say? Whatever. And he was like, she just said you ugly. 
that grind my gears because it's like I hate when I do not walk around like I'm the baddest chick like Trina but at the end of the day I know I'm not ugly and I hate when ugly people try to call me ugly it's like the math ain't math and like who do you think that you are like I'm never acting like I'm just the baddest like I said at the end of the day you're not about to play me like I'm here and you there when you there and I'm here, like, no, we're not about to do that. So I just was real irritated. And I even told him, like, I'll do this thing where I don't want it to be up for grabs if you went and told the person what I said. Like, I'm going to tell you. Go tell her. Like, since you the middle man, go tell her I said she looked like a pit bull. She's ugly. She ugly. Like, so that's literally how the fight started because she called me ugly and i did not like that and, <laughs> and i called her a pit bull and she did not like that so basically bestie was definitely messy because he was the middle man i was his best friend he was i was his best friend pit bull was his girlfriend so it's like i do see how he was in the middle but as a man you definitely was being messy but he really wasn't a man because he was just a boy in eighth grade so whatever so i'm like listen so i'm telling slim whatever i'm like i want to fight like try to fight her so i tell him because i can't remember the back and forth but it was just now it's tension now it's back and forth so i'm like you know when we walking home like i want to fight or whatever so i remember how did no it couldn't have been when we walking home because i'm like how did slim come with me so I feel like it was either after school where we caught the bus home and then met up with her or it was like on the weekend or something. But I'm like, I want to fight her. She out here calling me ugly and she's being weird. So I'm about to fight her. So me and Slim and then so Bessie was like, I'm going to just be with her because I don't want her to feel like y'all, we all against her. Like we jumping her, whatever. And I feel like she had a friend, though. I feel like she had a friend. She had somebody with her, whether it's her cousin or something. But he's like, I don't want her to just feel like we all against her or whatever. So me and Slim kind of, we all walked. It was me, Slim, and Bestie. We all walked to her house. And me and Slim stayed, like, on the corner, like, out the way a little bit. So she don't think, or her parents don't just see us and just think, you know, whatever. So she knew we was coming though. Like she knew we was coming. She knew I wanted to fight and she wanted to fight too. So cool. So this, and let me just um, describe her. She was bald head, small head. And I'm long hair, big head. It is what it is. <laughs> but she was bald head. She had a small head, but she had so, she had no edges and she had so many pimples like just on her forehead. And she just was not a cute girl. She was not a cute girl. But anyway, so. I'm like, yeah, come on here, purple face. You know, I'm just I'm talking my trash when I see her come to the door. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Like down the street, but it's like the energy, <laughs> the energy that uh, Corner John was giving me. I was giving her by myself though. Like I knew Slim was here, but I knew Slim not going to fight unless she need to. As far as like. We not the people who just gonna come and just because she here, oh, we automatically jump at you. But if you need my help, sister girl, tap me in. I got you, period. So anyway, so she eventually, she like goes in the house, comes back with her scarf on and you know, like, you know how it is, you gotta get ready. So, <laughs> so we like, we not gonna fight in front of her house because, you know, her parents gonna see, and her mom was strict. So it's like, I, I don't, I want you. Like, I wanna, I want the ones which I'm not trying to have your mama interfering. So, we ended up walking down, down or whatever to this little open area. And it was like, it was so crazy because it was like, okay, how do I do this? So, let's just say the streets are coming in the neighborhood is right here. So, you can't go straight. You can either turn or go this way. So, we was walking from down here and we had stopped right here. And right here, it's like road, grass, hill, trees. Let me do that again. Road, grass, hill, trees. Like, so we right here. 
So I was just nervous. Like I wasn't scared of getting beat up, but I had never like just hit somebody first. And I'm like, you talk, you the one who said I was ugly first. So you hit me first. Like I'm just in her face, but I'm like, nah, hit me first. Because I just never, I just never had that energy just to want to fight somebody so bad. I'm like, this is, in my mind, I just, I knew it was stupid to be fighting her because she called me ugly. Like this dumb, but I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of you keep telling my best friend stuff about me because it was way more than just that but that's how I started but it's all just petty like her just saying things about me like you ugly and you fat and I don't know just tons of stuff so we just kind of like squaring up a little bit I'm just like what's up <laughs> yo I'm just like what's up like hit me hit me so here goes Slim like just hit her <laughs> just hit her she not gonna hit you just hit her so like whatever, so I just hit it. Mom, sack. I don't know. I honestly, <laughs> I honestly can't tell you if it connected or not. I I don't know if it connected or not. But all I know is, um, she definitely got me once in my face. Like she definitely got me right here in my eye. I know she got me once because I had a black eye. And I, <laughs> my first fight, I had a black eye. Like. A real one like do do like it wasn't it wasn't like full on but it was like do do like you could tell it was a black eye yeah so it's like in them type of situations it don't matter if you say that you want or you not you did and they like mm -hmm, you got that shiner though so you got that shiner but anyway so she um she didn't have a black eye i don't think but all her pimples was popped all her pimples was popped. It was just bloody at the top of her forehead. Um, <laughs> and we almost fell down that little hill. Like, we kind of fell down to the ground. I almost found a little thing. But, yeah, the fight wasn't really exciting, y'all. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to make this video about my first fight because y'all was so stupid. Like, it was so stupid. And I'm not going to say I won. I'm not going to say she won. I'm going to say it was a draw because... I did get the shiner. I feel like I did get more hits off of her, but I ain't no beast. I was not like, I was not um, trained. That was my training. Okay. So um, we got up and it was like, she was just like, ha 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 ha, like laughing and stuff. And I'm like, come on, like, what's up? But I'm tired at the same time. Like, and she like was scratching up my neck and stuff. So, you know, when your neck scratched up and like you out of the adrenaline a little bit and now the sweat is burning and it's, um, but I'll fight you if you want to so I think we went around like two rounds or whatever and it just wasn't given it wasn't given I'm a lover not a fighter but I do have a couple more fighting stories but those are going to be in the BD Chronicles y'all I'm preparing myself for that series for y'all because it's crazy it's crazy so we in 8th grade BD Chronicles started in 11th grade so I'm going to just wait a little bit to give y'all those story times but yeah y'all so we fought or whatever and we never fought again and um eventually pitbull and bestie broke up and i think my next story is gonna be about bestie bestie and somebody else but i'm not gonna tell you who because then it will ruin the story so thanks for watching like Comment, subscribe, follow my socials at The Breeze Lifestyle, Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you later.